parkour or free running is all about overcoming obstacles. It's self-expression through movement whilst at the same time interacting with your environment around you. And these guys are some of New Zealand's best A-Lan movement. Taylor, Ethan, Isaac and Todd, they're all members of Alan Movement and boys I think I've uh, missed the memo on the track pants. Yeah we were uh, going to call you about that. But, uh, <laughs> What's the reason um, behind track pants Isaac? Really it's to help us with our freedom of movement and they look flowy as so a lot of our flips look so much better with like flowy track pants. Well. What does parkour and free running mean to you Taylor? Uh, for me personally I think everyone has uh, their own definition of the word once they get into it. For me it's more about uh, bettering myself, overcoming personal obstacles both um, in the real world and in my head. What does Alan mean? Does it stand for anything? It was an anagram or a... Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a French word. It, uh, it has a lot of meaning, which is why we chose it. It means um, to live life to the fullest, um, to live it with life, zest. It's like a French YOLO. Pretty much. Would you guys say you guys have an individual style per se? What would yours be, Todd? I normally half out on most moves <laughs> and bail a lot. <laughs> Well, if you claim it as a star, then, then yeah, exactly. it looks like you're doing it on purpose, yeah. right? Isaac? Um, I'm trying to get cleaner and cleaner. I'm focusing on making moves um, flowy, really. Well, I've done martial arts, so that's kind of um, played its part in my particular style. I'm trying to make it flowier, faster, bigger. Um, and just get more creative, you know, try and think of things that other people aren't doing. I've just noticed your hands, they're really calloused. Um, it takes its toll, but I mean, your hands get used to it, they, they toughen up and it kind of helps. Okay, I think I've been inspired a little bit. Um, is there any beginner moves that you guys could teach me? Of course. Vault. Yep. Vault. 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 Every, every, everyone's chanting vault. vault. What's a vault? Um, passing over oh, waist height, knee height, chest height, walls, uh, using your hands and, and legs. Oh, just stepping over a wall? Um, yeah, but if it's a bit higher, you're probably going to need to jump a little bit. I'm going to teach you the lazy vault. It's a good place to start. Uh, it's relatively easy. I like anything that starts with lazy. Yeah. Nice and simple. You can see that. <laughs> I think I'm overthinking it. Yeah. Okay. I did the right. wrong foot. Yep. Yeah. No, oh. fine, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Oh, I've done a, a little something to your ankle. Nah, it's fine. Obviously, you have to be quite fit to do this, eh? It definitely um, helps improve your fitness as you go along. Okay, how do you ensure that you're safe there, not dying? No, as long as you start small baby steps, work your way up to the bigger stuff. You know, proper strength training, dieting, if you're that way inclined. It's, um, it personal, sounded good until you said dieting. <laughs> well, my diet includes uh, Carl's Jr. and Wendy's, so... Done! I'm in! <laughs> no, I <sign> up! <laughs> If you're looking for a fun way to get active, spend time with your mates, give parkour a go.